This is basically an unboxing video of the 150 amp hour 48 volt cloud energy server rack or wall mount battery. Be sure to read the comments for details that I wasn't able to fit in the video. It's already going to be too long. We have some really nice wall anchors, the morning plate. Battery terminal covers. Rather thin cables for 150 amp hour. Looks like it's only a uh, does it seven gauge wire? It's got a short Ethernet cable. As you can imagine, 150 amp hour battery is extremely heavy. Sorry, I'm coming back at you. I think it's stuck in the mounting brackets. Looks like it comes with quite a beefy wall mounting bracket. It will fit on a shipping container. Sorry, it's starting to rain. The cover is secured with 16 screws, four on each side. I won't make you suffer through all that. Okay, she has to be smarter than the clip. Sorry. Looks like a heavy duty plastic or fiberglass cover. Copper bus bars that are welded to the battery. Okay, let's go ahead and follow the wiring, bus bars, and battery layout.
and then finishes off with a positive lead. This is the back side of the control board, control panel, and terminals. I wanted to check and see how big the wires were that go to the terminals and see how they were connected. They are connected with bus bars, which is good. I hope when we measure the size, make sure they're better than the wires themselves. So the positive side has a seven gauge wire single going to the, from the battery to the terminal block. The negative has two eight gauge wires going from the negative terminals to the control board, to the BMS, and to the uh, other side of the batteries. I'm gonna measure the bus bar, but before I do that, I wanna make sure there's no potential or no voltage to ground so I don't short anything out. So I'll check the positive side of the batteries. Sorry about that, I had to change the skilling on my meter. So the battery voltage, the whole pack, is reading 52.8 volts. But from the positive to ground, showing zero volts. And from ground to ground, or from negative to ground, sorry, showing zero volts. So I should be fine measuring the bus bars. So the bus bar is point eight, about point eight inches, point zero eight inches, sorry, and about two point two point one millimeters. And Thickness, the other dimension. Let's see how how can I get this where you can see it? Can't get in there that way. Oh well. Measure it and pull it back. Can't really get in there, but roughly 15 millimeters or 0.6 inches. Okay, I know this in the bus bars. They are, they're not straight across. They do actually have a bend which allows for a little bit of movement so that they don't break the terminals on the batteries. While I was noticing that, I found three temperature sensors or switches. Um, none of them are attached to anything. They're just set inside three different places on the top of the batteries. But none are actually glued down or secured in any way. And it looks like there is a fourth one. They all, they all come into this terminal here. And there's a fourth one that goes back someplace else. Oh, there it is. Comes right on top again. So they're all mounted on top. Um, none are glued down. And I don't know if any of them are low temperature or not. I'll do more testing after I do my capacity test on this. I don't want to do anything to jeopardize the test. Okay, let's see if I can weigh this beast without hurting myself or the battery, or the scale for that matter. That's heavy. It's about 130 pounds. She's a beast. Okay, so the wall mount will work on a shipping container fine, but it will not work on a standard 16 on center stud configuration here in the United States. First hole, this is between the two, is two and five eighths inches roughly. From the first hole to the third hole 
is seven and five eighths, and for the first hole to the fourth or last hole is about ten and a quarter.